So in a previous video, you saw us do an unboxing of the Phone Touch Max and getting it set up on the Unify Talk platform. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how we handle call forwarding. So when you have calls coming in, we want them forwarded, say to your mobile phone. Let's get straight to it. So according to Ubiquiti, call forwarding is done slightly different in the UK than it is in the US. So what we have to first do is come down into the cog where we've got to get to our settings and we need to then head over to global contacts. Now in here, I've already created a global contact. So I'm just going to and edit this global contact. And as you can see, it just, it very simply says test user and it has then my mobile number in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. So that's very important in the first instance. So I've got that uh, global contact set up. I'm now gonna go back over to assignments users and I'm going to click on myself and back to the cog and then I'm going to come down to where it says ring flow so ring flow is what you want to do with a call when it comes in and how you would like to handle it so let's go back to the screen okay so what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to ring flow and what I'm going to do now is just add a new ring flow I'm going to give it a ring flow name so I'm going to just call it test and the first thing I'm going to do is this uh, ring sequence here. It's set to 30. This is uh, the phone itself or me. So I'm going to drop that down and say um, two rings. And then in this box here where, you see as, uh, where it says add new, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to add my global test user, which of course is my mobile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that as 30. Um, and I think everything else is pretty much is, is pretty fine. So let's just explain what's going on here. What we're saying here is we want the phone to ring for 10 seconds, okay? And if I don't answer that call, I want you to redirect the call to my mobile, ring for 30 seconds, and if that doesn't get answered, I then want, I would like the call to be diverted to my voicemail. So that's the ring flow that we're seeing here. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So I want the phone to ring for 10 seconds, if the call doesn't get answer, uh, doesn't get answered, redirect the call to my mobile, ring for 30 seconds, and if my mobile doesn't uh, kick in, or if I don't answer the call or my voicemail of my mobile doesn't kick in, then go to the voicemail of my uh, Unify Talk service. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that up. And once I've done that, I'm gonna obviously select that and click Apply Changes. Okay, so what we're going to do now is give that a test. I'm now going to ring uh, my Unify uh, phone, and what should happen is the phone should ring, and then the call should get diverted to my mobile, and then when my mobile doesn't kick in, it should then go to voicemail. So let's check it out. There you go, phone rings. There you go. Call goes directly to my mobile. And if we wait a little bit longer. You have reached the voicemail service of Rock Speakers from RLS Computer Service. It goes to voicemail. So it uh, demonstrates that the workflow really does work. So that's quite a useful feature, I believe, within the Unify platform. So let's recap what we've just done there. We've set up a flow so that the call comes in, if it doesn't get picked up by your uh, Unify Talk phone, it then goes onto your mobile. And if it doesn't get picked up by your mobile or your mobile voicemail, then it will go to your voicemail of you if I talk. Okay, so that's how call forwarding is handled here in the UK. Do you do things slightly differently? Have you got Unified Talk yet? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.